Election to the Senate of the Philippines was held on Monday, May 14, 2007. This is to elect 12 of the 24 seats in the Senate. Together with those elected in 2004, they will comprise the 14th Congress via plurality at large voting. The senators elected in 2004 will serve until June 30, 2010, while the senators elected in this election will serve up to June 30, 2013. The elections to the House of Representatives as well as local elections occurred on the same date. The Philippines uses plurality at large voting for seats in the Senate. In the election, the opposition-backed alliance called the Genuine Opposition Go, defeated the administration-led alliance Team Unity by winning seven of the 12 seats in the Senate. For the first time in Philippine history, Antonio Trillanes was elected as a senator while currently detained for mutiny and rebellion charges. Almost the incumbents running for re-election won except for Ralph Recto who was at 14th place. Official Candidates on March 19, 2007 Comelec released Resolution No. 7832 which finalized and approved the official candidates for the senatorial election. On March 29, 2007 Comelec certified 37 senatorial candidates. Background Comelec issues on March 11, 2007 the old Comelec building in Intramuros, Manila was burned by a blazing fire ruining several ballot boxes and pending election protests. The genuine opposition considered the fire as political act which ended in burning of several election protests and contested ballot boxes. Investigators found out that instead of arson, it was the generator of the building which caused and since the building was built with tar and wood it would easily raise by fire. The Commission on Elections Comelec, is facing scrutiny because of the fire that hit its old building on March 11, resulting in speculations of conspiracies to cheat on the May 14 elections, too. The Comelec was also lambasted for publishing on the Internet the names, addresses and details of registered voters. 3. The Aquino Issue Three people with the name Aquino filed their candidacies Benigno Aquino III, Teresa Aquino Areta and Theodore Aquino, and there was confusion as to who is credited with a vote if someone wrote only Aquino on the ballot. Since Theodore Aquino was disqualified because he had dual citizenship and former Senator Teresa Aquino Areta has the last name Areta, Comelec ruled that all votes with only the name Aquino would go to Tarlac Rep. Benigno Aquino III. All three Aquinos are related to each other. The Cayetano issue The matter was the same as the Aquino issue. Representative Alan Peter Cayetano Taguig City Pateros, found out that a certain Joselito Cayetano belonging to the Kilisang Bagong Lipanon KBL, filed his candidacy with the nickname Peter, which was really Jojo. Allen therefore filed a disqualification case SPA 07 against Jojo. Jojo was declared a nuisance candidate by the Comelec resolution on March 27, 2007. Jojo then filed for a motion for reconsideration which was eventually rejected on May 11, 2007 but Comelec did not remove his name from the official list of senatorial candidates and ruled on May 12, 2007 that all votes with only the name Cayetano will be stray votes discarded and therefore not counted to either the candidates until Supreme Court resolved the matter. The Comelec said that Jojo could file a motion for reconsideration at the Supreme Court within five days. Coalitions and party groupings Team Unity Team Together Everyone Achieves More Unity is the administration-backed coalition composed mostly of supporters and erstwhile critics of current Philippine President, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Team Unity seeks to take several Senate seats in order to ensure the passage of President Arroyo's legislative programs and also to protect her from any impeachment attempts by the political opposition after the midterm elections. Team Unity is composed by different major political parties in the country such as the Lakas, Christian Muslim Democrats, Lakas CMD, Kabalakat ng Malayang Pilipino, Campi, Nationalist People. 
S Coalition (NPC), Laban ng Demokratikong Pilipino (LDP), and the Partido Demokratiko Socialista ng Pilipinas (PDSP). The campaign team of Team Unity is headed by veteran political strategist Relly German, campaign manager, tourism secretary Ace Durano, spokesperson, and Ike Rodriguez, campaign director. Team Unity had their proclamation rally at the Cebu Coliseum last February 17, 2007. Genuine Opposition Genuine Opposition Go, is the main opposition-backed coalition of the party's senatorial lineup for the elections, which is in opposition to President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. It was originally called the United Opposition Uno, created by opposition stalwart and Makati City Mayor Jejomar Binay on June 2005 to unite all politicians who wanted to impeach President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. UNO then reorganized itself and changed its name to Grand and Broad Coalition GBC, with the UNO party under that coalition. On February 15, 2007 the group changed its name again to Genuine Opposition after a meeting with Senate President Manny Villar in his office in Las Piñas City. Campaign Candidates made use of different campaign platforms to win. Prospero Piche, Manuel Villar, Mike Defensor, and Lauren Lagarda had been very visible in TV ads. Francis Pangilinan preferred to run as an independent and decided not to participate in sorties and campaign of the genuine opposition, even though he was initially drafted as a guest candidate. Teresa Aquino Areta had raised different reactions in her TV ad campaign asking the people's forgiveness being the dancing queen during the impeachment of deposed President Joseph Estrada. Some candidates like Francis Escudero, Vicente Magsaysay, Francis Pangilinan, Joker Arroyo, Antonio Trillanes and Coco Pimentel made use of the internet by joining network sites like Friendster, making or updating Wikipedia entries, establishing blogs and websites and airing the commercials on YouTube. Candidates Retiring and term limited incumbents At this point in time, two senators are voluntarily retiring from the Senate at the end of their current term. As well four senators are term limited by the Constitution of the Philippines after serving two consecutive terms. There was one vacancy left in the outgoing Senate as Noli de Castro, independent, was elected as vice president in 2004. Lacas CMD incumbents Juan Flavier, term limited in 2007. Ramon Magsaysay Jr., term limited in 2007. Liberal Party incumbent Franklin Drilon, term limited in 2007, return in 2010. Corsa ng Masong Pilipino incumbents Loi Ejercito, retiring from the Senate. Alfredo Lim, ran and won for mayor of Manila. Partido Democrático Pilipino Lacas ng Bayan incumbent. Sergio Osmeña III, term limited in 2007, campaigned for the genuine opposition, return in 2010. Opinion polls Opinion polling, locally known as surveys, is carried out by two major polling firms, Social Weather Stations SWS, and Pulse Asia, with a handful of minor polling firms. A typical poll asks a voter to name 12 persons one would vote for in the Senate election. Winning candidates Composition Candidates who were not make it to the top 12, but were within the margin of error from the 12th placed candidate, are denoted by figures inside the parenthesis. Results Per candidate Carrot 1 replaced by Coco Pimentel as a result of an election protest. Per coalition per party.